Hello and welcome. This video is going to demonstrate how to get live cryptocurrency prices into Excel using Power Query. I'm going to be using the CoinMarketCap API for this. I've already done a previous video on how to do this with Google Sheets, which is a free alternative. There'll be a link in the description and a pop-out card appearing on the screen somewhere around now for that. Um, but in order to do this, I would first suggest you guys also find the link in the description to talk to have a look at the uh, coin market cap API documentation just to understand what's going on. But other than that, let's uh, let's jump straight in. So in a new Excel window, what you want to do is add up the data. Um, we're going to need to create an advanced web connection uh, using Power Query in order to connect to the, the API. So we're going to head up to new query and uh, from other sources from web. Uh, once this opens, we're just going to tap on advanced and I'll leave these in the description. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to return a list of um, specific tickers that I'm interested in. So the first section of the URL part uh, is this. So cryptocurrency slash quotes uh, forward slash latest. And the thing we're going to take advantage of on this advanced tab is actually by adding these parts. So we denote a question mark like so in the second uh, part of this URL. And what Power Query is effectively going to do is it's gonna combine all of these parts together. This allows us to, or makes it easier for us to effectively see the web part that we're constructing. So like I said, this question mark now denotes that we're going to start specifying parameters. So for my instance, I want all of the quotes that are returned to be in Great British Pounds. So in this second part, I can specify the parameter convert equal to currency. Now you've, you can pop any currency in here you like, for example, USD, Euro, GBP, etc. cetera. Um, over on the API documentation website, they do actually have a breakdown of all the currencies, their tickers, and some identification numbers as well. After I've done that, we're going to add an, an ampersand or an and symbol um, so we can specify the next parameter of this uh, web part. So add part. And I'm going to be using the slug parameter, which then enables me to pass in a comma separated list of the tickers or names that I'm interested in. Alternatively here, you could use the symbol um, instead and then specify the, well, the symbol. The reason I use slug is for some lower cap coins that have the same ticker as one another. Um, it's actually a better way to, to get hold of those, um, those cryptocurrencies. You could also pass in the ID slug, sorry, the ID. CoinMarketCap specifies an ID for every single crypto on their website and you can pass in that, but that gets quite messy. Once we've done that, we need to specify the headers. So the header that we need is going to be for our key. So again, this will be in the description, X hyphen CMC underscore pro underscore API underscore key. And then this field here to the right hand side, this is where you're going to paste in your CMC API key. Once we've got the key and the header name in, we're gonna tap on okay. And this is going to start connecting once we see this screen, we're going to click on data record, convert into table. We're then going to hit the expansion list on this filter list. And I'm just going to select all columns and I don't want to use the original column name as a prefix. Click OK. And then this expands through all of the columns. So we can see here we've returned our tickers. Here's the slug that we passed in. Um, we can see all the other information that the um, the API has returned in a JSON format. Now, because this isn't a JSON format, the quote is nested. So we're gonna to need to click through this a couple of times, but if we come over to the quote column that gets passed in at the end, click the filter button again. And here we can see the conversion we specified. So we're gonna press okay. That's then gone into the subsection effectively of the uh, conversion JSON. And then we do the same again, click here, and we can now see um, price and volume, etc. So again, I'm just going to pull in all the columns. Um, if you only wanted price and volume, for example, you'd just filter to select these. 
click on OK. And we can see here it's now pulled through the live price in GBP, volume, etc., price, percent change, price change, all the information that we, we could want. Um, what I'd suggest now is you come up here to the top of your name and just rename your query to make it a little bit neater. So we're just going to call this ticker um, or buy ticker perhaps. Once we've done that, we can click close and load and this should spit it out into a table. So we can see that our table name is buy ticker and we've got all the information that we required. Cool. So we've learned how to do individual tickers. Now that could be quite long, um, especially if you're wanting to return cryptocurrencies, which are in the top 1,000, 2,000, you know, or several hundred by, by market cap. So let's create a, another query and I'll show you a slightly faster way to pull a predetermined list um, by market cap ranking. So we go from web again and what we're going to do, go to advanced and we're going to use a slightly different URL as the base of our URL part construction. So we're going to be using cryptocurrency listings latest. And in the same way we did previously, we'll specify the question mark, which allows us to start putting through our parameters. Again, I'm going to use convert GBP or ampersand so we can add another parameter. And then I'm going to specify star equals one, i.e. start at record one. So this is probably going to be Bitcoin, the highest market cap. And then an ampersand again, and I'm going to specify my limit. So I want to pull, say, the top uh, 500 coins. Now you could do the top 5,000 if you wanted to, but for data load, I'm just going to do the top 500. Once again, we can paste in our header name, which is the, which is this, and then again we'll paste in our key. Click on OK. Give this a moment to load. Fantastic. So again, list. Here we can see we, it's returned a lot more records. And we'll click to table. Uh, for the delimiter, none. And then show as errors, we'll just uh, leave that as show as errors for the extra columns. Click on OK. And once again, we can now filter this. We'll click the filter button in the top right hand corner. And we can expand all of these columns out. And here we can see we've got uh, a lot more tickers. So starting from uh, ID one or market cap one effectively right through down to 500. Um, so again, same as before quote, expand it for our currency conversion and then expand again to pull back the quotes. I'm going to name this one top 500, which is what I specified. We're going to click close and load. And we can see there we've returned 500 rows and that's the top 500 coins on coin market cap um, by market cap. So if I edit this query, this will show you how easy it is to change these steps afterwards. If we go back to the applied steps into source, click the little cog, and it's going to bring back up the web part JSON that we specified. So here I can change my limit. So I'll change to the 5,000, click on OK. And here's the power of Power Query effectively. These steps remain unchanged because all we've done is effectively increased the number of rows. So if we click close and load now, this should return the top 5,000 rows, there we go, instead of the top one, 500 um, and all the information that we are after. So that's how that's done. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and any comments or suggestions, leave them below. Cheers.